can just see the last 18th frame processing up in the top right red status bar moving around. I'm just pointing to it now. And when it's finished I just inch up the expand by one increment at a time and press apply expand gradient. You just watch how the image changes as we go through this. Now I go to 2. You see it now just brighten up a little once you start to get to 2. Now as I sneak it up, what, what I'm watching for is, uh, this is actually off a hyperstarred 9.25 edge. And you can actually see a bright whitish rectangle leaving a sort of a black area at the bottom and two edges. And this is where I decide I'm going to have to crop to get within that white or brighter area. It's really the uh, the camera body that's causing that. So now I'm cropped. I start to boost the contrast a little. And when I do that I just drop brightness down a tad. Basically to get the black background. Now I'm fooling with the black background for the same reason but I'm just watching to make sure that I don't lose too much of that nebulosity up around the horse head. The flame's much brighter than the horse head. I've lost a little bit of data there but it doesn't bother me. I'm after all observing in the field I'm not chasing NASA photo of the day. Now I'm going quite dark there because I want to, uh, in the future, click the logarithm which is a luminance, uh, a mild luminance stretch which will be coming up shortly. And I'm looking for that central area to be nice and dark. Now it turns out my MacBook shows things much brighter than the ShareX video capture program does. So at this point I click on logarithm and you can see a little bit of noise around that central portion of the image. It's not a bad image, but you can see right around the middle there's a little bit. It's a pretty good image as it is, but at this point I drop that brightness right down and then start sneaking it up, which in, in fact made it look quite nice, almost like that previous image on my MacBook. But in ShareX, unfortunately, it's a little bit too dark for my taste. But um, it shows how relatively painless it is to <coughs> tease out this detail. I must admit, I normally start with a logarithm checked. And I just add it to my output library. And you can see the, the settings which will be coming up shortly. ISO 3200. Previously I've obviously taken a 30 second by 9 but this is 20 second by 18. That 30 second by 9 was more than likely on my Skywatcher 200p. And there you have it. Thank you for watching.